Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a Filipino dish. It's called Ginisang Ripolio, which basically means sauteed cabbage. And it's super quick and easy to make. All you need is garlic. I have about three cloves of garlic, half of an onion, a medium or small tomato, half of a head of cabbage, and then I just have a little bit of shrimp here. Uh, if you don't like shrimp, you can also use pork, or I haven't had it with chicken, it's usually shrimp or pork. And for seasoning, you're going to need some fish sauce or patis. This is the brand that I like to use. It just says three crab brand fish sauce. And then we're also gonna need just some oil for cooking. Okay, so to begin, we're just gonna heat up our pan. And then we're gonna add a little bit of cooking oil in here. I just have vegetable oil. Okay, so we're gonna start with the garlic. Just saute that for a little bit. Not too long because you don't want it to burn. And then add the onion. And just cook this for about a minute or two until they soften. And now we're going to add in the tomatoes. And this for the tomatoes, I like to cook it until they're until they're soft. And I even like to smash them up once they start to soften up. So I'll just let that cook for a couple of minutes. Once the tomatoes start cooking down, you can smash them up with the back of your spoon. And now I'm gonna add in the shrimp. And the shrimp will cook up really fast. You can add as much or as little shrimp as you like. It just depends on you. Just personal preference. Okay, so once the shrimp is cooked, you can tell it's pink, so they're cooked. I'm gonna add the cabbage. Okay. And then I'm just gonna mix this around slowly. The cabbage will wilt down, so it'll be easier to mix around once they start cooking down. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to season with the fish sauce. I never really measure the fish sauce. I just add a little bit at a time because it is salty. Um, you can always add more later. So I just added like two of these spoonfuls. I think that might be enough. But I'll go ahead and taste this once it's done. Okay, and just let it continue cooking until the cabbage is cooked through. Okay, so this has been cooking for a couple of minutes now. At this point, you can go ahead and taste it. I just tasted it and the seasoning is perfect, so I don't have to add any more fish sauce. And the cabbage is cooked, cooked through, but it still has a little bit of a crunch to it. So that's how I like it. So it is all done. I'll give you guys a closer look. Here is what it looks like up close. This dish is super yummy and so easy to make. I think from start to finish, it took me probably 10 to 15 minutes to cook, like from chopping everything up into cooking. So very easy to make. I hope you guys try this at home. If you guys do, let me know how you guys like it. And if you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe because I would really appreciate it and that way you won't miss any more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.